What's up guys, Alex here, GuitarForest.com So today we're going to take a look at the Roadhouse Blues by The Doors and uh, this was requested and supported by Curtis, a long-time supporter so big thanks goes out to him and uh, this song is um, a typical blues kind of shuffle rhythm uh, song which has a cool riff and uh, we're going to break down all of the parts including the short solo and um, the tabs and the backing track are going to be available at guitarforge.com the link is going to be in the description box down below also i'm going to post a link to the cover sort of playthrough of this song to my other channel uh, the link is also going to be in the description box down below tuning for this song is standard for the sound i was using the vst plugin guitar rig i'm going to show you the picture of the preset that i was using and while you are checking it out i'm going to play you my low e so you can tune up and play along with this lesson So without further ado, let's go for the close-up and start the lesson. Alright, so we're going to start off this lesson with the intro part and it goes like this. Okay, so as you can see we have this shuffle rhythm going on, so it's a typical kind of blues uh, rhythm and uh, instead of playing straight eighth notes, we have this, the first note is longer, the second note is shorter. So we got that going on, just playing on the low E string, open, and then in the end we have a, a few a kind of transition leaks and it, it has a, a many variations so the first one what we do is we have a triplet on the low E string 5 6 7 so we have like that second variation that we do is it's a slide and it's uh, happening on the A string so from 5 to 7 Again, uh, following the shuffle rhythm, so the first note is longer, and then we slide into the seven quicker. And uh, you can do these al um, different alternate versions. So, uh, you know, uh, we play the triplet on the low E, we can play the triplet on the A string, we can do the slides on the low E. First few times he does the triplet, and then he goes plays mostly uh, the slides. And alternating, so the first time we play on the low E, then we play on the A. There is another variation uh, that he does, which is... So just a... Uh, a band on the third fret here on the low E string. Okay, so you got a few variations what you can use during that intro riff. And then when we get into the into the verse, uh, mainly he just plays the slide on the A string. So practically playing on the A string, the slide. Alternatively, you can do this uh, right here in this first position. So instead of playing it here, we can use the open string. On the D is going to be open one, two. And on the A string, we have open one, two as well. So these two al uh, al alternate versions. And also you can do sort of like a slide. Like that. With one finger. So when we get into the, into the verse, like I said, we play mostly the slides on the A string. So you can do it either here, 5 to 7. Or you can do it here. 
like that. And sometimes alternating uh, with the A string as well here. Uh, then we get into this um, um, uh, adding a little bit more of melody. So when we get into the verse, we have. So that part. So what we do is, uh, like I said uh, before that, we have the triplet open one, two on the D string. Then we play the G string open. Then we get back to the D, we play second fret. Then we have a grace note. And then we have open D. And then alternating that with the second fret on the A string for two times. So we have this. Okay, so that part. And then we go back to playing the riff again. So we do this two times, and the second time, when you play the open G string, you can also play like a double stop with the open D as well. So we do that for two times, and then we go into uh, another additional part where we play with the vocals. So we have. So that part, basically we play open D for three times, so we alternate the open D with the second fret on the B string. For three times, then we have second fret on the D string, let it ring out for a little bit longer, then pick it one more time, then open D twice. Second fret on the uh, A string, open D. Third fret with a slight bend on the low E string, and then back to the open low E string. So altogether, slowly, this part with the previous one is going to be like this. So after we get back to playing um, after the uh, little bend here on the third fret on the low E to the open low E string, and then we finish it off with uh, again the triplet open one two on the A string, open G, and then again the first part that we did uh, the melody line. So altogether, I'm going to play through uh, this first verse, uh, these two melodies um, combined together and it's going to be like this. After that part we continue playing the verse, but now we're going to be introducing the chord, the E7 chord. And again there are a few variations how you can play this chord. Uh, the uh, fingerings and also the placement on the, on the guitar, on the fretboard. Uh, but basically we're jamming on the E7 chord. So this is the classical one. The typical um, fingerings. It's a C shape. So right here. And that's basically the, the rhythm pat pattern that we use. So again, uh, we have a slide on the A string, 5 to 7. You can play the low E kind of muted, open. So that's one variation. Another variation using the chord here. So it looks like this. 
again playing with the open, low E string open. <laughs> Using the triplets or the slide here on the D string, open one, two. And the last variation of the chord, uh, we can play it here in this position, but instead of playing it like that, we get rid of the, uh, the root notes on the A string and we also add the notes which is on the high E string on the seventh fret. So we have this voicing of that chord. Like that. So you can use different variations when playing the second part of the verse. And uh, generally speaking, uh, he starts off playing a few times, I think three times, using this chord. And then goes into this voicing. And then when we go into the melody, into, into this part, also this one is slightly changes. So uh, when we play the, the melody, the first part of the melody, we go into this position here because it's easier to play like that. So we stay here. So the first va variation that we do is, so it's open D, alternating with the second fret on the A string. And then the rest is the same. So the open G, second fret of the D, the hammer on, and again, alternating open D with the second fret. So we have Second variation of that transition in part is So we have open first fret on the A string, open second fret and then open G and again the same thing. Getting back to playing uh, the uh, the rest of the of the part using either this chord or here, and uh, when we do the second part of the melody, so this part stays the same. Nothing changes here, and again we have. So the triplet again, either on the D string or on the A string. So that's the uh, a few variations that we do uh, during this second part of the verse. And also there is another one, the third variation um, that he uses when playing the first part of the melody. We have so it's open. Uh, a string, hammering on onto the second fret, then open D, back to the A string second fret again. So we finish this part like that, uh, so we have a few variations here, and then we go into the next part which goes like this. Okay, so here we have a sort of a walking bass line, so we have... That part uh, repeating continually. So we have two open uh, A strings, again using the swing fill. Then we go three, four. Second fret on the D string, open A, then four, two on the D string. So 
So we play this riff for a few times and then we go into the transitioning part which is So we play here in triplets the B power chord for the whole bar, then we have so it's a C with this uh, kind of staccato way of playing the, the chord for three times and then going back to the B again like that and then we go into the solo Alright, so we're going to break up the solo into phrases and the first phrase starts off with uh, uh, playing the triplets on the uh, double stop high E and B strings, 12 frets. So we play three of these and then we're going to be adding the band to the first triplet. We, uh, we add the band on the 14th fret of the G string and then we play the double stop and we do this for five times. So the first bar consists of three triplets and then we go the fourth beat is going to be with the band on the G string and then we continue into the second bar which uh, also plays four of these. So we have the band on the G string and followed by the double stop uh, triplets uh, two times on the, on the double stop. So all together the first two bars are going to be like this slowly. Like that. Then we go, we continue playing the same thing, but now we're going to be playing one bend, uh, one double stop, one bend, one double stop. And it's going to go into this, into this part, into this lick. So it's going to be. So after we play for one bar the bend on the G string and uh, picking the double stop we then continue and we play so here we have just the bend on the G string 14th fret 12th on B we do for two times so now it's not a double stop but single notes and then we have so it's a bend on a 15th fret on the B string, bend it up, bring it down. Then we play a bend on the G string, 14th fret. Then it's a double stop two times. And then we bend the high E string on the 15th fret. So slowly this bar is going to be like this. Like that. Uh, as we bend up the string, we hold on to it for a little bit longer and then we have so here is a little bit tricky tricky rhythmically so we bend it up the high E on the 15th fret then we bring it down we pick that note on the 15th fret then we have so it's uh, four 16th notes so basically what we do we play the high E 12 and we bend the B string on the 15th fret and we do it twice and then we go into again into the 12th fret on the B string but now we go into the uh, swing feel so we have like that so we pick the note the first one is going to be a little bit longer then we have a quick bend on the B string 15th fret and then we go back to 12th fret on the high E again and again into the swing feel. So we have four 16th notes followed by four 8th notes played in a 16th, in a, six, in a swing feel, I'm sorry. And then after that, uh, we're going to be playing this repetitive lick, which is. So here we're bending the B string 15th fret. We go into triplets now again. So bending the B string uh, up. On a 15th fret and then it's followed by two uh, triplets um, notes on the 12th frets on the high E string. So we do it for three times and then fourth time we bend up the string, B, B string, bring it down and go to 12. So all together
And then what we do is we simply shift down to the 10th fret on the B and 7 on the high E and we practically repeat the first part. So again we bend the B string, it's in triplets, and then pick 7th fret twice. And then we have So after we play the, this first lick, then we have a uh, bend on the G string, bring it down, then play 9 on G, then we have 8 on the B string. We have a passing note here, maybe it's a mistake, but maybe it's played intentionally, the open G string, and then we have again. So this time it's a little bit quicker, so we bend up the string, 10th fret, bring it down, pull off to 8, then we play 9 on the uh, G string, and then 8th fret again on uh, the B string. So all together slowly is going to be like this. And then we have... So after this, this part we have again 9 frets on the G string, um, now we go into the 8th notes, again swing feel, so this one is shorter, and then we go into the open B string, and open high E. Um, so one more time, the whole phrase with the first lick is going to be like this. After that part we go into an yet another repetitive lick which is just uh So here we have again triplet and we play a hammer on open to the second fret on the B string and then we play high E open and we play this uh, hammer on with the high E uh, for almost four bars. So we played this for four bars and the last bar we have this lick. So on the beat four after the uh, triplet, hammer on, we play open B string, then we slide into the fourth fret on the G. As you slide up to the fourth fret on the G, then we pick high E open grace note, a quick slide back to the second fret on the G string, then open G, second fret on the D. So we have like that. Then we have a harmonica which is repeating the same phrase. After that we play so kind of similar phrase to the last one, so we slide into the 4th fret again on the G string, picking high E open, then again a quick slide back to the 2nd fret, and here we have a sort of like a passing note, the open D string, then we play open G, 2nd fret on the D string. One more time. Like that. Then again the harmonica repeats the phrase and then after that we have the last phrase. So here we have a bend on the 5th fret on the high E string. Then we have... So it's a triplet 5-3 on the high E. So after the bend... Open um, high E string. 3rd fret on the B, and then we have two passing kind of notes, open G, open D string. One more time. Like that. And that's uh, practically the whole solo. So now I'm going to play all of the uh, phrases, all, all of the licks from the solo back to back together, slowly. It's going to be like this.
right, so after the solo we go into this part where uh, Jim starts singing a few lyrics and then he goes into this um, kind of improvisation part. And uh, the guitar is not doing much, we only have one kind of riff which is keeping the groove going on and it's playing again uh, using the swing feel and we have this repetitive kind of riff which goes So we have a second fret on the D string, starts off on the off beat, then we have a rest, and then again we pick uh, three times the second frets on the D string, but using the swing feel, then open D string, second fret on the A, and we practically repeat this riff throughout the entire uh, section. Like that. Then after that, before going into the second verse for the uh, uh, last two bars, we're going to be introducing the chord again. So we have the E7, you can play here. Or you can use it here. And then the rest of the uh, of the part of the verse is just like uh, what we did previously. So again, with some variations when you go into the into the melody line. So this part stays the same, and then again we have uh, the second part of the song, which is that part, which is also exactly the same. Then we go into the ending, and we have again this, okay, so here is a slightly different, so again we have triplets on the B chord. For the whole bar and then the guitar stops but you can hear the piano part is going kind of chromatically so what we do here you can do that on the guitar as well is you start off on the B chord two times and then we have the chromatic so it's C D flat D um, E flat and then we have this lick so we climb up to the 6th fret, 6, 8, the, the E flat chord, so we have and then we go into the lick. So the lick is pretty uh, simple, so it starts off with a bend on a high E15, then we have, so it's 15, 12, on high E, 15, 12 on a B. Then we have bend up on the G string, 14th fret, bring it down, pull off to 12, 14 on D, uh, back to G string 12. And then we have so the uh, double stop, uh, it's uh, 14 on D, 13 on the G string we simply slide it down to frets. So all together this last part is going to be like this slowly. And that's how we end the song. Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you found it useful and it was helpful. If you did and you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforge.com for more guitar related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.